Channel 8 brings you the team that takes your new stories to new heights. The team that stops at nothing. The team that does nothing to stop. It's time for Smooth New. Good evening, New Zealand. I'm Samuel David Smoothie. And I'm Jessica Hotter. Leading tonight's news bulletin. Millennials. How much responsibility is too much? How's the jump looking? I haven't hit it yet. But you haven't hit the I jump? No, I haven't hit it. I'm late. <laughs> Champagne. Good on your face as well as your belly. And the search continues for Daryl's dog. Tonight's broadcast is a Winter Games special as we follow living legend Sam Smoothie as he completely dominates the Winter Games field. And now we go to Cadrona where athletes will be competing on the big jump. Yeah mate, we've got Big Air here today. I think the last Big Air I did was 2004 and I got knocked out. There's no team green in my category for finals, but the snowboarder Tian is holding it down. Team Kakariki Green has come out absolutely swinging. The big air event has been an absolute throwdown here. Perfect conditions for trickery in the air, jumps, grabs. It's been one hell of a show, and I'm incredibly proud of my guys and girls. Unfortunately, uh, Jossie Wells, team captain, has gone down. Uh, it looks like he's broken his wrist. So, you know, the news never stops. There's rumours that this may have been plotted by Team Yellow. Um, what are you going to say about those rumours? Yeah, I have heard uh, from a very credible source, actually, that Team Yellow has been diluting Jossie's milk in order to prepare for this. So, a real bit of treachery there from uh, Janina Kuzma. That's funny, I put something in my milk once, so I woke up at the um, zoo. And on to our next story. Something from a higher elevation. We're at the top of Out There Summit. We're about to ski a face called WTF. I'd never ridden WTF before the competition. Um, we got there and the conditions were actually all pretty good for what we expected and yeah, it was, it was great being able to get out there with, with everybody and, and put on a, a good show in, in, a, in a proper free art environment. How you feeling? Ah, uh, pretty guest! That's a total green out. What a tactical genius that man is. Devilishly handsome as well. I would. And now to our business analyst to show us what it all means. Thanks Jess. Righto folks, let me break it down for you. As you can see, due to the joker card, the green team's points are absolutely skyrocketing, while the opposition's points are absolutely plummeting. The stats don't lie. I basically grew up at Triple Cone. My parents would, uh, just put me out on, on the field and just let us, let us go wild. We just had that whole area to explore and you know, it was our playground. It was really special just seeing everyone's unique way of looking at the mountain, how to lay lines across it and just how everyone sees the mountain so differently. We set out to enjoy everything Triple Canyon has to offer and, and we rode that place like fully top to bottom. So I have to pick it up now. Somehow we've managed to lose Tian, Christy, and Bo. Pretty nice day. This brownie though.
Like a runaway plow on the highway, Team Green is absolutely mowing down the opposition. It'll be interesting to see how the other teams went in such variable conditions. No chance! Crossing now to the voluptuous flat earth weather person, Hank Billis. Thanks, Sam. Unfortunately this week, it's super wet everywhere, except for right down low. Down and... Thanks, Hank. Team Green is settling in for the big win, as red and yellow's chances are absolutely circling the drain. The rail jam was really fun. The rails pretty much catered to everybody that was involved and it was the one I was looking forward to the most, so I was stoked. It's super fun, just trying to see what I can find some air off. Judges ready. Our jam was cool because we had different features other than just rails. We had the quarter pipe and the side hits and it was really fun because everyone had something that they could do stuff on. Team Green there really running the other teams through with that lance of victory. The results aren't in yet, things could still change. But what we do know is that the Winter Games Obsidian has been a great success and we can't wait for next year. From all of us here at Channel 8 News, stay smooth New Zealand.